Yeah, so going into playoffs, it was pretty exciting for the guys. Obviously, like I said before, it was really unfortunate that we weren't able to spend that time in Dallas and, and then LA for the finals. But, uh, you know, we're going to Hawaii. We knew that. We had practiced really hard and we were really excited to just start playing again because we had it all planned out. We knew Hawaii like the back of our hands. So, you know, we were ready to go. So obviously, since we had not made the Countdown Cup, we uh, had a lot of time since our last match. So uh, going into it, obviously we were practicing a lot, preparing. But yeah, I think it was both good and bad in a sense. Uh, I think overall good because the guys got a bit of more of a rest. I get more time to practice and focus on what the you know, bigger picture is. Last time I Hawaii, I think it's a bit of a good thing. It's the last match, right? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Overwatch League 2021 playoffs. We're finally here, the end of the season. And at the end of the week, we will be crowning a champion to place themselves on the banners that you see before you. Uh, what a ride it's been over the course of this year. And it is finally time. We're going to start the show off with an absolute banger of a match, the Washington Justice versus the Dallas Fuel. Yeah, so going to into our match against Justice, obviously we've had a lot of close matches against them. And, uh, you know, we can't ever write out like a team that has like Mag, Decay, Fury, these sort of players. I mean, you just can't. So you always got to be prepared. I wasn't necessarily too concerned because I, I know we can beat them. I know we match up well against them. So I wasn't really too worried about it. Oh, Justice, I don't know. 크게 문제가 없다고 상식을 하기 전부터 워싱턴만 이기면 진짜 우리가 승자조로 무조건 갈수 있겠다라는 생각으로 이제 경기를 했고 경기 안에서 이제 밧대로 부순다는 생각으로 그 팀의 이제 대한 스타일이 너무 좀 우리 팀이 우리 팀 입장에서는 좀 편하기도 했고 아무래도 그 경기는 이제 일단 준비하는 대로 잘된것 같고 Credit Justice, you know, they put up a good fight, but at the end of the day, I think, you know, we just looked like the better team overall and, and, and proved it with a 3 1 victory. What happened? What? Right now, what just happened? Nothing. In general, that's normal. <laughs> oh, we have a match today? Oh, did we? Yeah, so going into the second day, obviously we're really excited seeing all these other matches unfold. There were some crazy matches and, you know, you kind of felt that environment like, okay, this is finals, you know? A little bit different because, you know, you're not in a live stage audience. I wish the players could have experienced that this year, but either way, we definitely felt that adrenaline so going into the next match. Well, the the Look at this aggression from Dallas. They know that they can really dominate these close quarters, these, these tightly packed corridors, especially with the Reaper. Discord off on Fearless, but Monk is also down and there's no healing left for the Hunters. They've run out of juice and the shoulders are not broad enough to carry such a burden. Another translocate from Jimmy means he's left the point of the round and the map goes to the fuel. These guys may have leveled up since yesterday, Matt. <laughs> yeah, this, this looks dominant for Dallas fuel. Touches, minefield thrown down. Dangerous time for the hunters here. Late Young takes a pretty big hit from that. Oh no, it's gonna be a hunter's play. Gaga steps up and he tacks straight away. Now the EMP comes in, he's blown up instantly, though, and the Dallas Fuel take away Voskaya Industries. They are looking clean today. 
Lay Young just going forward, but he loses his mech there. Doesn't go for the self destruct either. It's a big EMP from Jimmy, but three players here with a body grenade from Fielder. That's devastating for the Hunters. They don't have burst healing either the way. Point. They can't get to the point and weren't durable enough. They never have. I think uh, we really showed what we could do. And like, we kind of put people's doubts aside. After we came out and just kind of honestly demolished Chengdu the way we did, I think that kind of really made a statement going into the next step of the tournament. Great to be back here with you, ladies and gentlemen, to, I guess, open the book again on definitely the most storied rivalry in the year 2021. The Dallas Fuel and the Shanghai Dragons have been trading blows all throughout. Obviously, being Chengdu was a huge confidence boost for us, but going into our next match in Shanghai, we knew that, you know, they have been one of the best teams all season. Uh, you can't take that away from them. They're a great team. Uh, but they were essentially our rivals, and we played them so much, uh, even though they're from APAC, like more than some of the teams we played here in the West. Lip's going to have to translocate away, but Flatter has a special delivery! And it comes airmail straight to Jexa. The Dragons had the dive, they had the aggression, the killer instincts there. And Ilios belongs to them. Okay, I look at this aggression. I mean, the speed boost really allows the Dallas Fuel to pick a fight in their own terms, and it's gone down to the coalesce. Is that three dead already? Sparkle, not bothered by the pulse bomb, even if Jackson was felled by it. There's still so much to work with for the Fuel, and Fielder is still in the mix. But the Dallas Fuel have done it. There were so many ultimates to walk into, and EMP was even there, and the Dragons couldn't hold them off. Maybe this is still turnable for Dallas, as that's going to be Sparkle's third of the fight. Yeah, Sticky Bombs in him, take him lows. He was going to recall for the time being here, but what a, what a sleep! On Flatter, he duplicated a tracer and he gets caught as if he dropped down from the upper ledge. That's unnatural from Fielder. Izzyaki now gets the transition to a transcendence over on the card here. The Fuel have to play stall right now. The Dragons are on the precipice to taking their map choice away. And Harmon hasn't got a mech to contend with now. Spark on the Doofist here coming to oh. the left side. Now playing from a comfy vantage point, Lips is going to try and hold the fort on the ground. That's the EMP coming out there and feels as if the Discord orb as well. That's all the dragons, all the time right now. And they are headed on a collision course with the finals. The fact that I was in the past, I was like, 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 at the end of the day, they kind of just played a better game than us. It just seemed that we were just a little bit behind and I couldn't like close out maps that I, I felt we could off. Again, credit to Shanghai, they are really good. Um, but at the same time, we, we know we are too. So I think, you know, we definitely want that revenge match. We want to get back into the grand finals and get back up to them. And it is indeed game on, ladies and gentlemen. The Dallas Fuel and the Atlanta Rain fights for their chance to have a crack at the Dragons in our final. This has been all Dallas Fuel. And if you're Atlanta, obviously very early, but definitely a little bit worrying. And the Atlanta Rain, frankly, haven't even had a bite of the apple. It's all Dallas so far here on Leisure. We looked so good in the first point of that match. And I was putting my feet back almost feeling that way because I felt like, all right, this is where we're at. We are just a faster tempered team where we've got everything locked in. And after winning that first map, it felt pretty good. It was a little bit more shaky towards the end, but we won that first map and we're like, all right, pretty good. Remember, only need 44.5%, excuse me. Harmin's going to be desuited already in amplification matrix here from the Dallas Fuel, but that symbol just shuts it all down. This is looking pretty primo from the Atlanta right now, man. But here comes the Doom once more. Gator knocked up. Dohut takes him down from the sky, but it's not enough. The Atlanta Rain are reading the riot act to the Dallas Fuel. Moments. Fielder trying to stay alive. It's a boot kill. Spark was there to fight one of his own as well, but there's nobody left. It's going to be Fielder again. Trying to slurp on the card as Fielder steps up, but he's hacked on the way there. A pulse bomb 
will end his life, and it's just Doha, all on his own to try and keep the dream alive of the Atlanta Reign. They're gonna do this. Doha falls, and the kings have been slain. A new king reigns in the West. And a lot of played a good game. They they came out with some different strategies that you know we maybe weren't ready for per se. Um, but at the same time, like yeah, we just felt a bit off, and it's a shame because I really wanted that rematch against Shanghai. And I know the players did, I know everyone did. I know I honestly think all the fans did too, right? Even if you weren't a fuel fan, I think I truly still believe we were the best competition against Shanghai. Even though we didn't show it in the first one, I think grand finals would have been a different beast for us. I think we would be so hyped up and and really put up a fight and have a really good finals against them. But sometimes you just don't win them, and it, it sucks that we ended our journey there because it really was just kind of gut wrenching for for the players and for myself. 일단 끝나고 나서 되게 다들 이제 기분이 안 좋았죠. 원래 이제 우리 같은 경우는 뭐 그래도 다들 이제 우승만 바라보고 왔고 음, 충분히 그럴 자격이 된다 생각했기 때문에 어쩔 수 없죠. 이제 일단 그런 기분도 느껴봐야죠. 뭐 이미 3등이 벌어졌고 결승도 못 가고 우승도 못 했는데 그런 기분도 느껴보고 그러면 이제 다음에 더 잘해야겠지. 더 잘해야지라는 생각을 가질 수 있게 the big thing for me is what they take from this loss, right? If they're able to take something from this loss to propel them to be a better player and a better teammate, better whatever they can for this team for next year, that's what matters in my opinion. Even though we won main melee, even though we had a good season, we finished first in the West, that's not what we aim for, right? At this point, this is a championship caliber team with championship caliber dreams and something that we want to make that reality. Well, 어떻게 보면 이제 하위권 팀이었는데 3등을 했, 3등을 했기 때문에 뭐 괜찮을 수도 있다고 볼수 있겠지만 저 같은 경우는 좀 그런 성적을 원래 만족을 못 하기 때문에 우승을 진짜 하고 싶었어요. 이 팀에 왔을 때이 팀으로 이제 같이 선수들하고 우승도 하고 이 팀도 이제 같이 즐길 수 있게 하고 싶었는데 그런 걸못 했던 게 너무 아쉬운 것 같아요. getting ready for the off season, but uh, just got back from Hawaii and uh, kind of pretty down overall, right? I mean, uh, got third place, pretty good result, but then the day the players are pretty upset. So, uh, especially Sparkle, he's uh, he's pretty sad right now and it, he hasn't eaten anything all day. So I figured I'd be as well just ordering him some favor, you know, get him some Jack in the Box, maybe cheer him up a bit. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, so we've got all that, all right. Good now, just gotta check out and then wait on the package to be delivered from a friend of favor. Sparkle, you okay? Look, I know we lost in the playoffs, so it was tough, but I figured I gave some Jack in the Box, and I ordered it from Favor, so there, they came in pretty clutch. You got two drinks here, you got Ultimate Cheeseburger, you got some French fries, all for you. Wow. You're welcome. Thank you, Favor. Thank you, Favor. Yeah, so going into next season, obviously it's a huge change. It's not just like you're going to another season of Overwatch. You're going into Overwatch 2 with, you know, 5v5, you know, brand new heroes, maps, game modes, all these things. So, and there's still so little we really know about the game. I was going to Overwatch 2, but I didn't see Overwatch 2. But I was going to Overwatch 2, but I didn't see Overwatch 2. I mean, it's going to be a crazy, crazy, crazy year for rosters and, and player movements because, you know, the 5v5 change and just like teams are wanting to build off their, their success or, you know, want to improve what they may not have had as success. So, so like, yeah, we're one of those teams that, although we didn't win the whole thing and we had a very successful season, 
uh, we're going to build off of that and we're going to build a team and continue to to improve we don't want to be stagnant we don't want to you know we don't want to just sit and like be happy with third we want to push the issue in and keep moving forward and so that's something that we're working on we want to be ready as soon as that first match hits we want to have the best team we can have and you know do what we can so going into the off season news right um one of the big things is like i said before we don't want to be complacent we want to be active on you know what we can do to improve our team right we had a fantastic season i can't thank everybody enough for all the hard work they put in this year but at the same time third isn't first and we need to build off that even if we were first we would still look at that so with that we had to uh do some roster change ups so to start off we'll start with repel and Rappel was a great kid to work with. Rappel obviously worked with Rush and a lot of these other teammates in the past. And with the addition of Fielder, it was, you know, it was a competitive position. And uh, I really felt that like at the end of the day, like Fielder just kind of shone in pretty much all the, the aspects of the pole. 처음에 이제 라펠 선수 위주로 이제 기회를 많이 갔는데 우리 팀이 이제 그 사용하는 전략이나 방식들이 좀 약간 맞질 않아 가지고 이제 지게 되기도 뭐몇번 지기도 했고 그래서 이제 본인 선수들도 많이 괴로워했고 경기를 풀어 나가면서 풀어 나감에 있어서 좀더 필더 선수랑 막그 플레이가 맞기도 했고 그러다 보니 이제 라펠 선수는 그 뒤로 이제 많은 기회를 많이 잃었죠 그리고 you know Rappel we did give him a fair few shots and just never really clicked you know with the rest of the team and it seemed like you know fielder was just the better option and Credit to Rappel, I mean, he still put his head down and worked hard throughout the entire season. Even if you say, you know, he was still supporting any way he could. You know, maybe if it wasn't in-game, he was still supporting the team in any way. He was always, you know, showing up, talking to the guys, talking to the coaches, players. And um, this is a joint decision between myself and our coaching staff. And it sucks. You know, it's just not fitting into our sitting system of what we're wanting to do moving forward. And to Rappel, I, you know, I wish you the best of luck. Uh, stay handsome. You're a handsome kid, so <laughs> keep doing that. Um, and uh, yeah, man, I'll miss you. And um, I wish you the best of luck, for sure. Next one is, is Pine, the man, the myth, the legend. Pine 선수는 이제 많은 분들이 기대를 했을 수도 있겠지만 어, 미국에 일단 너무 늦게 왔어요. 한국에 있을 때 같이 연습하기가 힘들어서 we obviously wanted him here way sooner. Uh, at the end of the day, with the exit situation, we were obviously looking at signing another replacement hit scan, and we decided to move on with Pine. And like with Corona and all this other stuff going on, and just visa process in general, especially mid-season, it's incredibly hard to get them here. And trust me when I say this, I really do feel like we're one of the best at this, at getting players here with visas. You know, we did everything in our power to get Pine here as soon as possible. At the end of the day, we truly just didn't have enough time to work with them. There were times where we were planning on playing him, it just didn't pan out. 저희가 그 선수를 이제 사용하게 되면 또 반대로 너무 많은 약점들이 되기 때문에 같이 뭔가 할수 없었던 게 너무 아쉬운 것 같아요. 좀 일찍 와서 저희의 이제 무기가 될수 있었으면 좋았을 것 같은데. I really truly hope that other teams look at him uh, moving forward because yes, he didn't play, but like you have to understand that like there's there's reasonings behind that and i i would love for him to find another team and, and see him next year in Overwatch 2. just for our team we're we're looking at other options that uh may come around with free agency and whatnot and it just made sense to us to uh to part ways to the fans we're sorry i know you guys want to see pine play um we all did and uh, it just didn't work out just to the timing and then the meta and just kind of what our coaches decide on at the end of the day i'm going to trust in our coaches decision on these things because they do know the game they do know what's best for our team and i think they kind of showed it all season so uh you know i put good face in our coaches good face in what we're doing moving forward and i wish pine nothing but the best and hope to see him around next year oh <sighs> jackson 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 man this one's really hard i mean they all are but jackson sounds a lot 되게, 되게 옛날부터 같이 했었는데 이제 잭 선수 되게 선수 이제 선수나 이제 같이 일하는 동료로서는 정말 좋죠. He's an awesome dude. I mean, everybody knows it. It's not it's not something hidden. Like everybody knows he's really kind, really giving, awesome, hard worker for sure. And he did some fantastic things this year for us. And I think he knows that too. Jexa is le legit a sweetheart, man. Like he's a mini Taz bomb in his own right. I mean, he's helped me just throughout this whole season kind of like getting to know the players even more because you know 
his English is really good. He's, uh, you know, he's, he, he kind of looks after them as well. He will help all the players do these things. And he's kind of like the, one of the elder figures in, in the team. 밑에 있던 동생들도 되게 같이 잘 따르고 같이 잘 놀고 그래서 좀 많이 아쉬운 것 같아요. 좀더 오기랑 더 잘할 수 있었으면 좋았을 텐데. At the end of the day, it's, it's one of those things where we're just looking for other options and things that maybe can bolster our team and make them stronger. And not to take anything away from Jax's season this year, I think he, he did a phenomenal job. But again, this is something that we wanted to that we decided on and something we want to work on uh, moving forward with our, with our team. So to Jax, uh, I depend no matter what you do, whether you go on another team, retire, whatever you wanted to, I wish you all the best. 라펠 선수나 이제 잭슨, 잭슨 선수 같은 경우는 옛날에도 같이 해봤고 나중에 다시 한번 같이 해보면 좋을 것 같다라고 생각했기 때문에 같이 해서 되게 이제 굉장히 좋았고 타인 선수는 이제 어, 저 선수 좀 잘한다라고 옛날에 생각했기 때문에 그 선수랑도 같이 할수 있게 돼서 되게 좋았죠. 그래도 이제 다들 뭐 잘하는 선수, 선수들이기 때문에 다른 이제 좀더 맞는 곳에 갔을 때더 잘할 수 있지 않을까 그런 생각도 생각도 하면서. 앞으로 선수들에게 더 좋은 결과가 있기를 바라겠습니다. You always be fuel family for us, and uh, all of you guys have been a pleasure to work with, and uh, I really hope we can, you know, stay in touch. And uh, I wish you nothing but the best of luck. So, burn blue, and uh, good luck. So with that news, we will be also announcing our optioning of our other five players. That will be Fearless, Hanbin, Doha, Sparkle, and Fielder. So we're really excited to have those guys return for the 2022 season. Is that 22? Yeah, it's so many seasons now, but yes, 2022 season. Um, and then as well as our head coach Rush and also our assistant coach Aid. So one more unfortunate and uh, you know kind of sad uh, departure that we're we're having to deal with is Young. 우리나라가 그러니까 대한민국이 사실상 휴전 국가니까 나라를 지키러 가야 되는 거죠. 경력 <웃음> 분들과 똑같이 이제 1년 6개월, 1년 9개월 정도를 그 정도를 이제 한국에 무조건 있어야 되는 거죠. 이제 약간 길면 긴 느낌이고 짧으면 짧은 느낌이었던 2년인데 그건 정말 많은 메모리들을 갖고 있고 좋은 추억들을 갖고 있고. Young's been a pleasure to work with, man. Uh, he's funny. He's a goofy kid. Uh, he's 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 a real good person. And honestly, I've we've become pretty good friends as of you know since we met. And um, I'm really gonna miss that dude because he has been a standout coach. He dealt with a lot of hardship the first season he was with us. 이렇게 나눠서 보자면은 작년에는 솔직히 좀 많은 일이 있었죠. 제가 이제 델러스 피어레 온 도아랑 같이 온 뒤에 외국인 이제 처음 보는 코치들과 일을 하기도 했고 그러다 이제 안 좋은 일들이 조금 생겨나면서 결국에는 저희가 성적을 좀 많이 못 냈기 때문에 저는 뭐 제가 아직 감독을 할수 있는 역량이나 아니면 경험이 절대 안 된다고 생각해서 뭐 내가 감독이 된다면 이라는 가정을 해본 적이 없지만 작년에 결국 약간 인터림 헤드 코치라고 해야 되나? 네, 그걸 했었는데. You know, it is in Rush we trust, but at first it was in in Young we trust, right? And uh, Young has been great. And then not only that, he stuck with us, believed on our in our goal and our vision to bring in Rush, to bring in this new foundation and, and build a championship caliber roster. It's not something that we wanted to do. Obviously, we didn't want him to have to go. We wanted to keep him on with the roster. You know, we have no problems with him, no issues with him. We'd love to have him on next season. It's just, you know, he has to go back and uh, finish his military service. Who knows, you know, maybe we'll get him back. I'd love to have him back here uh, once he's done because, uh, you know, I don't see him going anywhere else. I, I want him back here at the fuel. If he can return to the fuel, he's the most happy 일이 되지 않을까 싶긴 해요. 왜냐면은 회사 전체 스태프 인원들도 다 좋고 그리고 이제 저희 팀그 팬분들이 제일 좋았기 때문에 그때 그 감정을 생각하면 어 피올로 솔직히 다시 돌아오는 게 제일 행복할 것 같긴 해요. 2년 동안 일단 저희 팀을 사랑해 주셨던 팬분들한테 정말 감사하다고 싶고요. 이 델로스 피어레에 있었던 추억이랑 아니면 좋은 응원들은 절대 잊지 않도록 하겠습니다.
But yeah, to look back on it, like, you know, we started off the season with a massive rebuild, right? You know, we pretty much scrapped everything minus Yong and, and Doha. Moving that forward was, you know, a big challenge, right? We all worked on that really hard to put together a roster that we thought could be a championship caliber team. It took a long time to kind of get everything together, right? You know, our, our pre-season uh, show matches back when we were still in Korea, you know, it went a little shaky. People were like, oh, you know, there's lots of doubts in our team. People not rating us very highly and thinking we were just going to kind of flop. And then once Exe came out and said, you know, that he wasn't going to be able to compete this year, you know, that was a massive blow for us. You know, a lot of people then, it's like, oh, Dallas has no hit scan. Dallas can't play Tracer, like they're screwed. They can't play anything, you know, nothing's going to work for them. And, you know, then we lose to Houston opening match, you know and um, it didn't look great at the very start of the season. People were starting to worry, you know, you know, obviously it's easier for me to see from the inside, right? Well, I could see Russia's coaching style and how they were trying to, you know, manage around metas to make it work. And that's what we brought this coach on for, what we brought this team on for, because they were able to not only bend the meta to their world, but honestly define the meta in a lot of cases. And that kind of culminated in the main melee. And, you know, with that win, that was obviously a historic win for the organization. And such a big deal, like from, from barely making it like being a map away from not making it to winning the whole thing and in a pretty commanding fashion being the best team in the world was fantastic right and that was such a great thing for our fans and everybody but we knew the job wasn't done we knew that we were still wanting to be focused we wanted to stay at the top and that's what we did you know we we were continuously winning in the west continuously going to hawaii having close matches i mean we had to learn from that uh really rough loss in the june joust of shanghai but that just ignited that rivalry and made us push to make sure we got a good place for playoffs and finishing first place in the overall season, uh, having a fantastic little mini homestand, shall we say, you know, where fans were showing up just to see us, not even other teams, it was just us playing on stage and uh, being Houston again and again and again, you know, those things don't suck as well. Like being, being their actual gatekeepers for the whole season, you know, that's a good rivalry uh, win to have. It was a hell of a season, you know, just in the regular season. And then to culminate it all in the playoffs, right? Um, you know, people again kind of doubted us thing. We, we might bow out real early. We might, you know, because you, we, we weren't taking it as, uh, as serious or whatnot. But to be honest, you know, I can say with wholeheartedly, like we gave it our all. We really worked hard every single day and I couldn't be prouder with our, our result. And obviously, would have loved to lift that trophy up, but that just makes us all think and want to work even harder for next year because we're not stopping. We're not happy with third place, right? We want to keep going up and keep moving forward. Like we want to win. And that's something that we're going to look for in Overwatch 2. I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. I really wanted to do I really to and we truly mean this every time when I say this is we wouldn't be here without you and that's something our players and our staff and everyone knows like without you guys we're nothing and we're, I'm so proud myself to finally get you guys a, a team you can be truly proud of and I really hope uh, you saw that throughout the season we put every step forward to making the best team we could make. Thank you for always supporting us and it means the world to, to everyone and uh, really excited for next season. This season, thank you so much for this season. Next season, I'll see you in the next season. 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 I'll see you in the next season.